Well, believe it or not, 3.27 a.m., just so you know, and on another road cruise, like always. Boy, I'll tell you, we are going to be on a marathon the next couple days. We're going to Vexlar and seeing our good friends over there. Going to learn a little bit about the history of Vexlar, which I'm very excited about. And then from there, we're going to run up to Cass Lake and fish with some of the pro staff from Vexlar. Run and gun. So stay tuned. Let's see what happens on Larry Smith Outdoors this week. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Join us each and every week as we travel across the Midwest filming 52 new hunting and fishing shows a year. Sponsored by Bartline Barrels, Green Bay Trophy Fish, Karsten, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Delco, Guillotine, Kamik Law Offices, Comalong, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supply, Norm's A, Vexlar, Warrior Boats, Wings Over Wisconsin, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Well, you know what? I decided today to take a little run up to Minnesota and we're gonna go check out the facility here at Vexlar and see if we can learn something. So, hey, stay, come with us and let's see what we have. Larry, you made it! Oh, Corey! I was I was worried about you because, you know, Tom and Cesar, you were driving around the parking lot lost. Well, I'll tell you we're, something, we're I'm, right, not right very, I'm not very good when you put me into uh, trying to find a place. Now, if you said, you know, give me a GPS point, I would have turned my GPS in the truck, I would have came well, right here. Well, we're here, welcome to Vexlar. Well, I appreciate come it. Come on in. Awesome. I, I'd have you take a look inside here. This is where the me and the mines are, but a little bit top secret. Oh, it is? Don't yeah, show yeah, No, no, don't show that. Oh. Don't, no, keep on going. Oh, shut the door. Keep on coming. Tom, Tom. Tom's an echo? Tom's an echo. Hey. Just a second. Julie, I want to, Julie, I want to thank you oh. for the bread and the cookies. Julie, you are a sweetheart. And, and about last weekend, you know, when Larry was out of town, I, just, I, I didn't bring it up with him at all. You know what? But I want to thank you for I all I can't believe it. Cookies. My wife doesn't do any cooking for me, I'm but... She, I told her I was coming to Vexlar today, and she gave me a whole supply of bread, cookies, all sorts of other stuff for Tom. I don't, I don't know. You know, I think I know what it is. She's always telling me I need to shave my head bald. <laughs> Look at that. I understand, Julie. I understand very well. I'll pretend like we, we've never met. I will promise you that. Thank you, sweetheart. You take care now. Bye-bye. For those of you who don't know Tom, Tom Zanenko is our sales and marketing manager. Tom. Tom? Tom Zanenko. Larry Smith. Larry Smith. Smith. Pleasure to meet hey, you, Tom. sir. I'll tell you what. You know what? This is a really nice facility you have here. You know, I, and I'm going to tell you, honest to God, is that your product is definitely one of my favorite products. And you know, it's very durable, reliable, and you know, it's just one of them things I cannot see going fishing, especially ice fishing without well, I'm glad you could come to the mothership. It's always a chance to get a chance to see what we do here. We're a, not a big crew, but we're a hardworking crew that makes quite an impact on the ice fishing world. Speaking of that, I gotta get back to work. Tom? Work? You're, you're in good. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're work. Good. I see, I know no, there's no, no, something no. there. I gotta get back to work. Yes, so, pizza's we'll, we'll, on the we'll, oven. We'll He's gotta go get the tour. pizza that's right. on the oven. We see who does good. all the work good. here. There's good. no good. doubt good about that. Thanks, Corey. Appreciate it. Hey Tom, I'll tell you what, what percentage of units actually come back here to be worked on? I know it's a very low percentage. Yeah, in the world of Vexilar, and, and it, it may seem kind of amazing, but we have less than one-tenth of one percent product failure <laughs> over two years with new products. And the average unit that comes in here for service is 13 years old. They don't break. Well, there's not too many products you can say that about. You gotta charge your, you gotta charge your battery. Oh, you do have to charge, charge them. Charge your battery. So, but if you don't charge your battery, other than that, the units run forever. So all your repair work is done in this little tiny area. That's it. That's it. That's it. We have one service tech that services it and usually has a 24-hour turnaround cycle. He gets it and sends it out the same day year-round. I mean, that's the kind of even during the peak of the season when we don't have 
we have you would think we'd have a lot of units being serviced same day service mr bauman the owner of our company prides himself on service 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 and these are units that are you know 10 15 i'll be honest with you i personally serviced at least 20 units this year that were over 30 years old that's so, saying something and they're still running and they're out there right today catching fish so uh, that's the way we do things here we only do it one way the best way in the right way absolutely the larry smith way the larry smith way <laughs> I'm going to do now and, and we may have to shadow some of the video images because we don't want the public to see our secret techniques but we actually build the vexilars here too you build them uh, not in china no 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 oh no, no. Okay. this is american made oh, i love it american made products well, well what we do i'm gonna take you into the back production area and if we're lucky we might meet the king of vexilar himself steve bauman Ooh. normal there he is right there ladies and gentlemen you get a chance to meet the hall of famer himself the owner, hey, and Steve. he's been with Vexilar for 40 years. He's developed patented technology that, oh, it's almost limitless what he's contributed to the sonar industry. But Steve Bauman, but this is his workbench that he never leaves most of the time. He never goes to right an here, office. Huh? This is Steve Bauman, Larry Steve, Smith. Nice Good to, to meet, meet you, sir. Larry. Good to meet you. Boy, I'll tell you, so this is your workshop right here. Well, this is where I like to spend my time. I have to go to the office every once in a while, but I'd prefer to be out here playing with new ideas or fixing some old stuff, so. Does Tom or Corey ever come out here and do any work? Yeah, they Never. Did. They Never. Did. One of the things I will do is make sure the cameras don't see all the new stuff. Yeah, I come Kind of hide it there, see. <laughs> now we can talk casually about it. <laughs> yeah. This is his workshop, folks, and you always talk about that mad scientist kind of guy. Well, that's what Steve is all about. We do, I do the sales and marketing, and Corey does all the promotions and stuff, but the guy who leads the company in whichever direction we go long-term, remember, he has to think three, four, five, ten years in advance, so he's never in his office, by the way. Never. Well, maybe once every two weeks to sign a check. That's why it looks so clean in there, That's right? That's right. Never <laughs> messed up. But then he spends all of his time here working on the bench, working on new designs of transducers, working on designs of, of the sonar technology that we'll be bringing to market in three, five, or ten years. The 28, for example, uh, that was one of our top selling units that everybody Great just unit. loves. Steve started working on that a minimum of 10 years ago before it actually came to market. That long? That long, because remember, less than one tenth of 1% product failure. To get a product to that level of, of durability and reliability at 40 below zero, takes this guy to work on the bench, circuitry and design and, and layout and programming all that stuff has to be done so it won't break down hey i'll tell you what if, if you ever design a truck a pickup truck i'm going to be the first guy to buy the thing that's all i'm going to tell you right now and i'm going to leave it there so we wonder what brand he's running so, <laughs> so all right thank you thank you guys we'll let you guys get back to work hey corey i'll tell you what what a wealth of knowledge here today that we've learned about. I thought I knew a lot about electronics. I didn't know anything about electronics. I know a little bit more now. Hopefully some of that will stay up here. Hey, I'm still learning. You're still learning? Well, you're here every day, at least five days well, a week. Well, we need to keep learning. Right, that's what fishing is all about. Yeah, exactly. Hey, you know what, real quick here. Now you've got to set up this afternoon. We're going to be driving up to Cass Lake in who are no, we? no, no, Cass County. We can't oh. No, that's okay, Cass Lake. Yeah. Okay. We're going to be driving up to Cass County. Yeah. And we're going to be fishing with some of your top pro staff guys. Some of the top guys at Vexlar, um, yeah, right. North Country Guide Service and Go Fish Guide Service. You've got Matt Brewer okay. from North Country. And you also have Jason Durham from Go Fish. And then you also have Jason Rylander. Oh, I so like you, Jason Rylander. you got Rylander. three guys that will put you on some fish, and you'll have a good time. And we're doing something a little bit unique. We're going to be fishing Eelapout Eel at night. Yes, right. yeah. and it should be prime time. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to be getting get out of here, there, and thanks for there. having us here. Appreciate it, Vexlar. Hunter, good seeing you. Nice Brian, to meet you. Nice yep. to meet you, too. Hey, and let's get on the road hey. and make some miles. Have fun, guys. Take Thank care. Thank you. You bet. We're going to be late again. We're always late. Why, Why are we always that? late? What do you know? We're lost again. Yeah. You know, why is it? How can you get you lost when you got a GPS?
bite that doesn't bite until it got dark. Well, it's almost dark. Well, what is it? It's almost dark. Does it feel like a good fish? Um, not really. You it's know what I was just going to ask you? I was just going to ask you for a rod. <laughs> I got one. You do? No. Were you pounding the bottom? Yep, and then he just came in and I had to finesse him a little bit. Now he's starting to act like a fish. Oh. Want me to pull your... Yeah, would you? Yep. There. That's what they're supposed to do. That today. looks See that rod tip? I goal? like that. Big time. I learned a long time ago, you always ask a guy if he wants his transducer pulled. You don't want to mess with another man's hole. No, you don't, especially his transducer. Oh, there you go. Wow, look at the belly on that thing. Yeah, I I'll, think that one has some eggs in it. I'll let you hold her up. <laughs> now, how, how many pounds do you think that fish is? If it was mine, it'd be eight. No, I always, I'm the world's worst fisherman. I always underestimate my fish. You underestimate? But I would say that's gotta be pushing five. Okay. These two are gonna say four. 4.37. See, <laughs> see, and I, I knew it. I actually marked him, he slid in, I jigged up, and he kind of sat there, he didn't want to chase it, and I dropped right back down, it hit the bottom, and I just started to lift, and he had come down and scooped it up. Okay, so he slurped he, it right he off the bottom. Slurped it right off the bottom. Wow. And that's pretty, pretty common. But yeah, get a load of that belly, Look at huh? that belly on it. Yeah. That's uh... Looks like me after eating a box of Twinkies. Looks like me regularly. <laughs> it does! <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel so bad then. Yeah! You got him? Got that one. Nice job, Matt. Nice job. You feel like a decent fish? Uh, yeah. You got it or you need a hand? You could grab my deucer if you'd like. I'd be happy. All right, man. And if you want, you can reach your hands. <laughs> but then he's going to want to use your heater too, right? It's a trade off. Right. You know, like, I think you got a good spot here. Yeah, even if You're the only guy with the heater, too. Nice. Well, that's a nice, now that's definitely a nicer fish right there. Look at that, hold that one up. Yeah, dude, have that eel appeal. Eel appeal, would you say eel appeal? The eel appeal. The eel appeal. Yeah. Is that something that chicks dig? Look at how flexible they are. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, they're beautiful fish. They are beautiful fish. You get the true color of them. And it's, it's neat because every fish, the pattern is so different. And sometimes they'll get black spots and every once in a while you'll get them where they have like yellow striping uh, on their bellies. Okay. And like this fish, you can't really see it very well, but um, see that all that slime? Right, now what's that from? Well, they're riding bottom and when they get closer to spawn, they start to get produce more, produce more, more slime. More slime, huh? So. Fish. Good job. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Jason, this is absolutely an awesome time, and I can't tell you again, thank you very much for inviting us over here to fish with you. What a unique experience. Boy, this is a this, nice fish. This, one has this one's definitely, definitely got some thump to it. Wow, that, look at that. <laughs> This one, this one's gonna take a little drag out. Look at that, look at that drag going on that reel. I love yeah, this is, that. Isn't that the greatest oh, sound in the world? It is. I'll tell you what, what a, it, you know, and it's so nice out here too. No wind tonight. Yeah, the conditions could be a lot oh, oh yeah. Not fishing out of a shelter right now. And it's not like it's warm. No. But. Oh boy, I'll tell you. Hold. I don't know if he's sideways now on me. Did you get him? How about that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is a beautiful bourbon, I'll tell you that. Man, look at the colors on this. Boy. And the like nice Matt was saying, it's amazing the difference in the colors on these fish. I mean, every one does look different. Oh, they absolutely do. And you know, one thing for the viewers to understand, they don't have teeth. 
So you can you can, you can lift, stick your fingers you right can stick in there. Your fingers in in their mouths to get the hooks out. You can lip them like a bass. That is, you know, that is very very cool. So you talk about look wrapped at wrapped up in the transducer oh, cable. The look at the colors on it. You got to zoom that camera right in on that. Look at the colors on that fish. That is absolutely beautiful. Very unique. And you know, you talk about you know where it sits in the food chain i mean this would be one of the top predators you know they've got big mouths look at how much of their body is thin i mean talk That's... about a fast fast oh. swimming fish right and whatever can fit in their mouth they're, they're gonna putting it in they're there they're going to eat it we'll let that big girl go thank you very much once it relaxes he will slide back <laughs> down there Come on. Come on. There we there go. She goes. Nice deal. <laughs> Good work, Larry. Thank you. The one thing we've been doing tonight is you'll notice that I've got this ring mounted on the rod holder of my Vexilar. And it's lined, entirely lined with LED lights. So all you have to do is drop your glow bait into the center of it and it's got UV and what's the other light? <laughs> Help me, Matt. LED. LED, thank you. LED lights, but it's got UV lights in there as well. And so you just drop your bait right into the center of it, bring it out, it's ready to go. And it plugs into the same power cable as you use for your charger on your Vexlar. And since they're LED lights, the draw on your battery is minimal. I've kept this thing on all night long. So check that out. It's a great addition to have, especially when you're fishing after dark like this. So what we're basically doing here, you don't have to have anything fancy. Um, guys who are really into it start to get a little more picky about what they use. Um, I'm using a 38 inch Jason Mitchell Mackinac rod. It allows me to stand up or sit on a sled. Um, I don't have to kneel and bounce around. And if I'm gonna be out here all night, I wanna be comfortable. So. Um, the Mackinac rod works for me. Uh, typical walleye gear will work for someone who uh, doesn't get out and do it a lot. You've got walleye rods sitting around, they're gonna work perfectly. Um, this was actually an old lake trout rod I had, so it's got 10 pound fluoro on it. And then on the business end, we're using the big nasty pout and trout spoons. And the glow on these things is absolutely incredible. And they have rattles and it's a huge chunk of lead, so it gets down really quick. Uh, moves a lot of water, makes a lot of noise down there, and when you're banging bottom, it it's gonna it's gonna really cause a commotion. So, I I think my pout game changed when when these spoons came out. Um, and the way I'm rigging the minnows, everyone does it a little bit differently, but I take a full minnow, shiner minnow, put that on one hook, and then I'll take another shiner minnow and hook it by the tail and split it in half, and then I'll put the head on the third treble there. And as you can see, that's a, that's a pretty big profile. And even a one to two pound burbot is gonna, is gonna annihilate that when they come in. I'll jig up off bottom a little bit after I've, after I've returned. Uh, Got him. The straight fish on. What were you calling these burbot before? Ice leopard. Ice, ice leopard. I heard some leopard. guy ah, say that there one time. Go. That's a nice fish, Jason. That is a nice fish. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely an ice leopard. Nice job. Wow. You got to love that. Now, you had to mess with him a little bit, play with him to get him to bite too, huh? A little bit. I mean, it came off the bottom and it chased it up. I probably caught it four or five feet off the bottom, but there was another one sitting down there. Look, them fish, they are absolutely beautiful. I'll tell you that. Look at this one's less yellow, more brown, kind of the white fading on the side. So different. <laughs> Very different. I love it. Cool. I, you notice the one thing Matt did when he came over and took my transducer out. When he put it on my carrying case of the Vexlar, he didn't put it in the transducer holder the way that it's supposed to be because when we're out in these elements like this, those transducers can freeze in really quick. So you put it in at an angle, right. then you can get it back in the hole too. And even when you put it back in the hole, you wipe it off on your pants, make sure there's no ice on the bottom of it so you can get a clear reading. Hey, you know what we're gonna do with that? That is this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats in Tigerton, the finest jerky on the planet.
You know, as we travel across the Midwest, one of my favorite things is meeting new people and learning about different types of bites. And tonight definitely was a very cool night, getting a chance to fish eel pout out on Cass Lake. Hey, Jason, Jason and Matt, I'll tell you what, you guys get to do this all the time and I'm sure it's still special, but for a guy like me that does not get to have these opportunities, it was a very cool night. And you know, if people want to come out and enjoy the things that you guys have to offer and it sounds like there's a wide variety of guiding that all three of you guys do how can they get a hold of you guys and experience some of these great things well they can always find me online i guide in the park rapids walker nevis area and my guide service is go fish guide so it's go-fish-guides.com got a phone number 218-252-2278 and for us, it's uh, northcountryguides.com, and we cover pretty much the Bemidji, uh, Turtle River, Cass Lake area, and you can reach us at 218-766-1814. And I thank you guys for everything. And you know, make sure everybody checks us out on our social media sites, especially our new website, LarrySmithOutdoors.com, and along with Facebook. And remember, like I always say, what a great night to be alive. That is terrible. It, I you think, gonna go home and eat with oh, that? Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> oh. oh, I smell it. I can't believe this just happened. It's one of the disadvantages of fishing after dark. Larry, what are you doing? What do you mean? Why are you running around? Warming up? Staying in shape after eating all them burgers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say right now, you with the wearing all those layers right now, you kind of remind me of an eel pout. Are you saying I'm fat? No, not at all. Cool. <laughs> <laughs>